Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. What do you got, boys? Squirrels. Squirrels. Caleb, what are those? Squirrels. Squirrels. Tell me something, son. What do you do with squirrels? Skin them. Skin them? And then what? Cook them. And then what? Eat them. Eat them. That's right. So folks, we've got us a few squirrels here. We're going to clean these boogers up, and we are getting ready to do a special recipe that is in the cookbook. It's in the Simply Southern Cookbook by the McGee family. And what you're gonna find is, these boogers can be so good if you cook them right, and tender, so tender that they will just fall off the bone. So let's get busy and see if we can't get these squirrels ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how we clean squirrels, and it'll be really easy if you wanna do it yourself. We've got a lot of things that you don't eat on a squirrel. And the first thing is the tail. So just go ahead and take the tail off. The feet, we don't eat the feet. So we're just gonna take them off. Take that off. Now we're just gonna cut a slit into the back of the hide. You can poke the knife through and then lift the animal through the blade and it'll cut that, that stiff hide. Now just get your fingers under that hide and start peeling it back like this. And them legs will just slip right out. And since you already cut the tail and the feet off, all you have to do is just keep pulling and it'll just come off like that. And what you're left with is the meat. Same thing on the front end, just pull it right off. So after that point, you're gonna Cut your slit right down through here. Bring your knife in here. Now, after you open that up, you just have entrails. These entrails, you're gonna remove those. And then after that, once the entrails are removed, all you're left with is a clean, nice squirrel to be cooked. All right, we're gonna finish cleaning these squirrels here. And we're going to get these things ready to cook, and we will see you with a cookbook in our hand. All right, folks, this is the Simply Southern Cookbook. We have been selling these things just at a steady pace, and, and the, the proceeds from this cookbook goes to my sister that's special needs with a lot of medical bills. So don't feel like you're piling money on me. This is for my sister. So anyway, it is a super, super good cookbook and we're proud of everything in it. There's a lot in it, not just wild game. My wild game section is fairly small actually compared to everything else. But I've been attempting to cook all of my recipes that I have in that section this month or two during this hunting season to show how to turn wild game into wonderful food that is great tasting and good for the family. So for this recipe, this is Best Baked Squirrel is the name of it. And in this recipe, we you wanna take your foil, you want the shiny side up. You just take your squirrel, he's been cleaned, dressed, everything is ready to go. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some onion and you're gonna just lay some onion inside that squirrel. According to the recipe, I think it says to use cheese and whatnot. You can use whatever you want. I just happen to have some really awesome deer sausage that has, is full of bacon. And I'm gonna take that and put that in here on that onion. That deer sausage turned out so good with that bacon and that legs seasoning and that hot pepper, Carolina Reapers, whoo boy, that was awesome. So now, if you get your squirrel stuffed, you can stuff it with whatever you want. I've used cheese, onions, just a lot of different things, sausage, you can wrap it in bacon, just whatever you want. This is an open recipe. You're gonna salt that squirrel, both sides, really nicely. And then you're gonna take a Cajun seasoning of your choice. I use Tony's, I use Slap Your Mama, whatever, and, and others. And just put him on there. 
turn him back over and sprinkle him again. That's all you gotta do. Now, you're just gonna wrap him up. Like this, you're gonna wrap him up. Be very careful not to puncture a hole in your foil because that will let all your moisture out and that will completely ruin this recipe. Now we're just gonna repeat this process until we have all of them finished up and we're gonna throw it in the oven. So when you wrap these squirrels up, what you're basically doing is making a tent that it will steam inside there because the, the hard thing about squirrels is keeping that meat moist so that it will come off the bone. If it, if it cooks dry, it's gonna seal tight to that bone and you're not gonna be able to get that much meat off of the squirrel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this thing in the oven and we're going to cook it three fit, on 350 for one to two hours depending on how old and tough these squirrels are and we had some that were fairly old and tough and some that were young looking so we'll probably just i'd say we'll go an hour and a half and see how how it is and we'll get them out and we'll test them out and see how tasty they are don't you come in here and poop on the floor girl what are you looking for i'm just trying to let a little bit of cool air in and my goodness she taking advantage of it. She gives us eggs, so I guess, you know. Hey, what are you doing, girl? What'd you find? Hey, you don't want that. Hey, hey, you ain't supposed to be in here. Hey. Don't you dare squat on this floor. My wife will kill me. Hey. What? What are you doing in here? Yeah, you better go. I don't like the sound of you in here pooping on this floor. Woom. Leave that door open, Buckweed. It's hot in here. Yes, sir. We cooking squirrels. We got the fire a rolling. All right, guys, let's see what we got here in this packet. Let's see if it turned into something else. Oh, my goodness. All right, boys, let's do a taste test. Man, that is so good. This meat is so tender, it just falls right off the bone. All right, guys, reach in here and get what you can. It's kind of hot, but it ain't too bad. Good. Here, just pick you off that piece on the tip. Oh, man, don't that look pretty? Mm. That has got the seasoning, and it's got, look at that onion. Just soft and pretty. Sausage. And this meat just falls off of this bone. Mmm. Now when you eat it, each person in our family usually has their own and they just pull it apart as it cools off and they can just strip down the meat right off the bone. And when you get done eating this squirrel, every bit of meat is off of it and there's nothing left but bones. And that's amazing because a lot of the times, most squirrel hunters, I mean, they just eat their four legs and that's it. Maybe the back if they're really, if they're really uh, thorough. But with this method, you can eat the ribs, every part of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna gather around and have us a big old supper. We got a lot of squirrels here, as you can see. So we're gonna eat a big old supper with sweet potatoes and squirrels. So we're gonna get on out of here. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.